All right. Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. And I'm Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, I thought we'd talk today about top three signs whether or not your foot pain is actually plantar fasciitis. Right. And uh, it's a pretty easy one to diagnose, I, I think, in most cases. But if you're having pain on the bottom of your foot, these are the things you want to look for. Right. It's a relatively common... Very common thing. Diagnosis. So uh, I've had it. You've had it. Yep. I bet you most people have. Especially when, if you participate in high-impact sports like running or jumping or dancing right. or ballerina. Ballerina. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just very quickly here, we, we, we want to do a visual of kind of... Let's show this one first. Sure. Here we've got a really nice diagram of the foot and they have removed the... The skin off the bottom of the foot so you can see the plantar. All this white stuff is the fascia. Mm -hmm. That's a tough, fibrous band. And it and goes from the heel all the way up to the, the toes. toes. And so we tried to recreate that using some tape here. Now, we didn't hit all the strips, but you can see it, it, it often starts down in this area and goes up in the toe. And here it actually kind of forms a band together, I think. Right. So the first thing, and you can see if I put stretch, stretch on this, you can see how that's stretching this band. Right. So if you actually get a tear in there, you can see why that's going to hurt every time I step on the foot. Right. So the other thing that happens is when you bear weight to the foot, even if the toe doesn't go up, the foot, what we call, splays out and it just stretches yeah. that naturally. That's why, well, we'll get into the symptoms about getting out of bed in the morning. Yeah, and, and uh, actually a lot of people who have somewhat flat feet mm -hmm. are are more prone to this and actually people with high arches can be more prone to this sure. not, too. So all right let's start off. Number one, the number one sign that it may be plantar fasciitis is quite often the pain is right here. Mm -hmm. Right at the, the base of the heel on the front of the heel. Right. I can't tell you how many people I'll, I'll push around on their heel on a patient and I'll get right in here and I'll push in there and it'll make them jump and they yeah. say stop that. If they give you a cortisone shot that's usually where the place they're going to sure. give it to you. So that's number one. Number two, it tends to follow a pain pattern. Mm -hmm. And what is the first thing you, you, that people always say on this, Brad? When they get out of bed in the morning and they initially put weight on it, oh, it's painful. Yeah, it really hurts. Right. And that's why a lot of times we have people, when they first get out of bed, try to put some shoes on. At least helps blunt the pain a little bit. Sure. But the other thing is that pain, after a while, tends to feel a little bit better. Right. After you walk around for right. the next 10, 15 minutes. But then as you walk more and more, it starts to get worse again. <laughs> Throughout the day. Throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So and this can also happen after you've been sitting for a long time, Brad. If you sure. sit for a long time, you think, oh, it doesn't hurt anymore. Then you step on, ow, 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 mm -hmm. it comes back again. <laughs> yep. So that's that pain pattern. It's going to be worse a lot of times on when you're putting more pressure on this band, like on stairs or if you raise on your toes right. or something like that, which all makes sense. So... Um, that's the basic pain pattern. That's number two, which makes you think it might be uh, plantar fasciitis. The third one is, is, is just something I've noticed on people. As you can see, these bands extend all the way up into the toes. And one thing I've noticed, and it was, I saw it on me first, is that people who have plantar fasciitis, you can compare your two sides. If you have it on just one side, See how far your toe bends up. You mean one foot or one side of the foot? One side of the, I mean one foot. Right. Yeah, if you have it on just one foot. You're going to compare the right foot to the left foot. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. So let's say I have it in my left foot, which is this one. I'll pull up on this toe here, and it won't stretch as far as the other side. That's just, I've seen that quite often. And will it be painful? And it'll be painful mm -hmm. when we pull it up. And when I first noticed this, Brad, is when I was doing lunges. I was doing lunges, and when you do lunges, you put a lot of pressure mm -hmm. on the big toe. And I was getting plantar fasciitis from that. Sure. And I was like, what's going on here? Why am I getting plantar fasciitis from doing lunges? And it was that big toe. I stretched it out, you know, gently over time, and I stopped getting plantar fasciitis. Okay. So the other thing that um, you'll find, which as a runner, is that when your shoes start to wear out, mm -hmm. I, I see that I, I start getting more stress on the plantar sure. Right. fasciitis and, and uh, uh, the fascia and uh, uh, to me when I, especially when I'm getting it in both feet right that means the shoes are wearing out and it's time to start get, getting right. a pair of shoes so those are the three signs number one pain right here number two uh, how you feel the pain quite often when you stand up and you know get right it out of bed morning. and then number three you're gonna have that tight toe that doesn't extend back like it should okay. and that's why and we'll, we'll put some links down below um, in the description 
of, of, this, of some of the treatments we have, but right. one of the treatments we have is stretching those toes. Sure. Yep. So. Yeah, we've got a, a great video on all the treatments that you can do that we haven't discussed with this, but continue to watch our videos and you'll get more and more information that's going to keep you healthy, fit, active, and pain-free. Pain-free. All right, let's do it. Oh, Sub hit the subscribe button. Subscribe. <laughs>